Hi! Well, so far in our project and as we are getting into the final steps of completing our online shopping store, we have covered some topics and implementation for specific tasks that we want our online store to perform. And to recap what we have covered, we have covered the MVC architecture, which stands for the Model View Controller, the model, which are responsible for maintaining our data, the views, which are responsible for displaying all or a portion of the data to our user, and the controller, which controls the interaction between the model and the view. We also managed to edit our forms, control our products, data such as create, edit, or delete some products. We added the validation rules to our item classes to help the manager enter only specific values for each field of the item details, like a string for a name and a number for a cost and so on. We also added a user authorization to only allow the manager to add or edit or even delete items or products from the store. We added a shopping cart for the user to add the items he wants to buy to his cart. And in the last section and continuing through this section, getting the user to fill up his information for the checkout and prompt, up, prompt him in completion page. So make sure to go back to any of these sections to revise what we have explained. Well, now we are going to add some validation rules to our order. Just the same as we did with our items class, we are going to add some validation rules. So go ahead into order. And I'll just change all of that here. So most of this is the same as we did in the uh, item class. Now the only new thing here is the regular exhibition which we are using to validate the email address of the user. And if you don't know what the regular exhibition is, is this is how we write it like any letter from A to Z, capital letter, then any uh, small letter, any number. It's uh, very useful to learn regular exhibition uh, and we are using it to validate our email address. Now let's add the complete uh, view. So add a view here and show it to be empty complete. Now let's change this to be like this and our completion uh, view will take an integer from the model and we'll display it to the user as a confirmation for uh, his order and we'll have uh, the link for uh, store to if he wants to buy some other products now we also have an error page in our shared uh, folder which uh, shows the user a simple uh, error message we are going to change this to be a to get to the user to go uh, back uh, in the history uh, if we hit an unexpected error so now let's build all of this Now let's go ahead to our store index here and try to run it from here. Now as you can see we hit an error here, we have to update our database. So let's go to our package manager console. And let's update database. Now let's go to our store and get into electronics, speaker, and add to cart. As you can see here, we have an add, we have added a speaker. Let's uh, go again to our store, add something else, new lamp, add to cart. Now we have two things, now let's check out. And as we check out, it would uh, let us go to our registration or login. So we have uh, we are going to log in here and as you can see we have we can put like first name like uh, Ahmad and last name to be like Ali address to be anything city to be anything 
state, anything, whatever, like, just anything to, to get started, country, anything, phone, email address, dot com, and payment free, let's just like, put here like 50, then submit our order, and you can see, thank you for your order, your order number is 1, and uh, that's it we can get go again into our store add some other items and keep uh, adding and adding and adding and for and it will all uh, be added to our uh, shopping cart and by that we uh, are done with this section and in the next section we will be uh, adding some final updates uh, and some other stuff for our design uh, hope you guys enjoyed this section and see you next section.